Hi, what's up? It's Jake of the Chess Rally Pop, and in today's video, I will present you my four top recommendations against 1d4 for black. No matter if you are looking for new opening because you are changing your repertoire, or maybe you are new to chess and you are looking for some good openings against 1d4, or maybe you are just curious, this video is for you. Criteria I use for choosing an openings are first. Is opening uh, strong? Is it played by strong grandmasters? Second is about level of your chess. I will tell you if you are, for example, beginner or intermediate, if this opening is good for you. Third thing is how much time do you have to devote to learn an opening? And fourth thing is how much time does it take to learn particular opening? And I, uh, today I will show you openings which are uh, strong, but also they are not really hard to learn in terms of plans, in terms of lines, because some openings have so many lines, so many nuances that it's really hard to learn them without coach. And these openings you can learn by yourself, with just with database or some videos like like that i will also talk about those openings in more detail in next videos so let's crack straight into this and after d4 first my my first recommendations is queen's gambit accepted first it's very simple second it's pretty solid pretty solid opening third it's good for all levels of chess mastery it's very good for beginners because it doesn't require from you to know a lot of lines, you just have to understand this opening, know some plans, and also it doesn't have, it doesn't take a lot of time to learn it. And additional, um, additional benefit of playing this opening is such that white player doesn't really expect taking on c4 because it's not so common right now. Usually black declines, uh, declines gambit and plays e6, but taking on c4 is perfectly okay. And after taking on c4, we are pawn up. Obviously, white will take this pawn back. For example, if white wants, they can take this pawn back just by playing queen a4, attacking king and taking on c4. And also, when we take on c4, white has some more space for their center. But it's okay. So let's see some options. e4 is one of the options and against e4 we play e5 so we are pawn up and we are offering a pawn in return in return for some time to develop and also attack center after e5 we attack center if white takes then we take on d1 king d1 knight c6 attacking pawn on e5 we have perfect position the most common move here is d5 after which we play knight f6 we give up this pawn, but we our, our position is perfectly okay. We just develop p pieces right here. Other options are such as e3, after which we also play e5, we attack center, and white shouldn't take here because again we take on d1, king can castle already, and we play knight c6, again attacking e5. All right, and after knight f3, we play knight f6. We develop pieces as well as white. After e3, we play b5. And that's a line I you should look at by yourself. So this opening is very good both for positional players. I would say more for po positional players, but if you're an aggressive player, you will also find some aggressive lines. For example, if you take on c4, after e4, you can play b5 protecting pawn and white plays a4 we don't want to take because our structure would be terrible we play c6 after knight c3 we play a6 and here comes very interesting variation white takes on b5 cb5 knight b5 a b5 rook a8 so we are exchanged down meaning we have a knight for rook but now rook has to go on a8 a1 we play e6 and this position is very interesting, it's very sharp, and it's good for black, actually. 
It was played by strong grandmasters, including Eduard. Hikaru Nakamura played it as well. So that's my first recommendation, Queen's Gambit accepted. Second recommendation is Slav Defense, which comes with C6 move. C6 move is intended to protect D5 to strengthen your center. And now white usually plays knight C3, you play knight F6, you develop your knight, knight F3, E6. So you are preparing your bishop to develop. Unfortunately, for a moment, this bishop is somewhat closed, but he will be open soon. e3, knight bd7, queen c2, bishop d6. And bishop d6 is an option for more attacking players. If you are a positional player, you should play b6. Bishop d6, bishop d3, taking on c4, bishop c4 and b5. And this this is a variation for players who like active play, who, are, who likes complication. And as I said, if you prefer positional play, you should play b6 right here. It's also played by many strong grandmasters, including Mamed Yarov, uh, I think Giri, maybe Carlsen even played it. And yeah, that's a, that's a very good opening. And here you have also some other lines like a6, if you're ultra positional and you want to play some closed position or g6 it's also a very calm and good move so this opening is um, it's still for beginners for all levels of chess mastery if you are a beginner it's perfect for you it requires a, a little bit more time to study to learn it's both for attacking and positional players it depends on lines which you choose to play and this is a very strong opening, it's played by Magnus Carlsen and all chess elite, Anand, Kramnik and all those guys. Alright, third recommendation is Benko Gambit. So Benko Gambit arises after c5, why it doesn't want to take because you play queen a5 and you will take pawn soon. Next move. So white usually plays d5, and now you play a very surprising move, b5. And this move is a sacrifice. And let's see what happens next. So then we can understand why do we sacrifice this pawn. So white usually takes, we play a6. We want white to take pawn on a6 to open a and b files. White takes on a6 g6 knight c3 is uh, an example bishop a6 a4 we take on f1 d6 now i'm going somewhat fast but i want to go into meritum rook e1 and now rook a6 and look what do we have for a pawn in this opening it's a very active bishop on this diagonal there are also open files a and b file which we will very soon put our queen and rooks at a4 for example queen and eight and now you can see that our plan is to play on queen side and Benko Gambit is more for attacking players for dynamic players but if you are a positional player you will also you may also enjoy this opening but it's more for players who like complications and who are more tactical let's say it's good for all levels of chess mastery but if you're a beginner, you should learn it with some grand, uh, with some coach to understand those concepts. Yeah, this opening is this opening is not very strong, let's say, because now grandmasters stopped playing it because computer likes po White's position very much because White has extra pawn, and grandmasters play is greatly influ influenced but co by computers but if you don't play it against international grandmaster on grandmaster this opening for black is should be great choice for you if you like gambits and last opening is my favorite it's my favorite at the moment because i play it very often it's my main weapon against d4 it's called grunfeld defense and grunfeld defense um, right now is played by Maxim Vashelograf, Nepomiaszczy and before it was played by Bobby Fischer, by Efimov Geller 
and some other players. And Grunfeld defense goes like this. You play knight f6 and now you play g6 after c4. After knight f6 you play d5. So you are intending to put your bishop on g7, you fianchetto your bishop, but at the meantime you are counter-attacking this white pawn center because if you played bishop g7 like king's indian defense that that would be e4 and after d6 white has very strong center so at this moment black already wants to attack center not allow e4 to be played just like this and this opening is i would say for intermediate players up it's not for beginners there are a lot of variations it's take it takes a lot of time to learn but it's very fascinating opening and it's also slash 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 positional players slash attacking but it's more for attacking players who likes complicated play let's say yeah that's what i wanted to say but it's very strong if you know how to play it you can have a great games i also had my last video was about a uh, crazy game in Grunfeld defense so check this out and main move here is taking on d5 black takes e4 knight c3 pc3 bishop g7 and right now we have a typical Grunfeld structure where where white has strong pawn center and our role is to attack the center and prove it's weak actually it's not weak but that's the plan for black to attack it and if black can we can the center we are we have a success with black white of course wants to maintain this center maintain space advantage and then slowly improve so bishop g7 and now after knight f, uh, f3 a very important move is c5 c5 is seen in almost any grunfeld line almost any and it's very important move as I said, to attack white center and put pressure on it. So these are my four recommendations against 1d4. Put in comment your favorite one. Also ask any question you have in mind after watching this video. So my recommendations are Queen's Gambit accepted, Slav defense, Benko Gambit and Grufan defense. Yeah, and thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel to see more useful and no crap content and see you next time.